So I just want to do a quick video on the validity of taking something like a uh, spirit level here or even a phone level on board an aircraft and expecting it to produce uh, real results because it actually won't. Now on the ground if you angle that spirit level the, the small bubble which is floating inside the liquid will show you a change in the actual level similarly to uh, this glass of water. If I move the glass you can see how the liquid is changing. Okay, and these phone levels, as I move them, it's changing. Now, I'll come back to those, but uh, what I want to explain is that inside the aircraft, we have an instrument called a turn coordinator. Now, if we think about our spirit level, which has got an air bubble, the turn coordinator works in exactly the same principle, except we have a curved window that is uh, angled downwards towards the middle and this ball is like a weighted ball moving in liquid so it essentially works the same way as a bubble level but um, based on a weight rather than an air bubble. Now when we're flying an aircraft the objective is to keep that centered the whole time okay an uncoordinated uh, maneuver will result in that ball moving off center and that would show on, uh, on an air bubble in a spirit level as well. But when the aircraft is being flown accurately and correctly, that won't move at all. In fact, I could fly aerobatics, I could fly a loop and a full 360 degree barrel roll, and that would not move at all. Now let me just uh, demonstrate some of those uh, examples. Okay, here's a, uh, an example of an aircraft turning, and just watch the um, balance ball and listen to the description. And remember that if this balance ball remain centered, the air bubble in the spirit level would also remain centered if it was on board the aircraft. Here we have a left turn of varying bank, but let's watch the ball really closely. It stays pretty well centered. That's because we're coordinating our flight. We're banking and using the rudder all at the same time, making sure that the coordinated, making sure the turn stays coordinated. So you can see there, he's uh, in a 45 degree bank turn, but the balance ball is still in the middle, okay? So if we, were, if we had a uh, spirit level on board this aircraft, it would also be in the middle. So it's not really going to show you any relevant information. Now, just to highlight that point further, remember our, our liquid? Okay, when we're on the ground and we're not moving, it's going to show a change in the angle of the cup. But uh, if we come to this video, which is done by a test pilot, Bob Hoover. He's quite a famous aerobatic uh, pilot. And uh, he actually pours a glass of tea and drinks tea while he's uh, flying aerobatics. So just watch this video. I had Secretary of the Air Force, Gene Suka, in co-pilot seat. And he had the half part of the airplane filled with the generals. And he said, uh, Bob, can the airplane be rolled? And I said, yes, sir. And I rolled, and the generals were all having a cup of coffee, and none of them spilled a drop. And then I got so bold as to think that maybe I could even pour iced tea. So then we put it on film. Now, the difficult thing to think about is try to pour backhanded to see it on, on camera. Believe it or not, you can see the horizon going around as the tea is poured into the glass. Okay, so it's uh, obviously pointless to um, expect any useful information from a spirit level because it's not going to show you anything if the aircraft is being flown accurately. And uh, certainly on an airliner, which has a um, yaw damper, which is uh, basically designed to keep the aircraft in a coordinated uh, state at all times, you're just not going to see anything. And just while, uh, while I have these phones here, let's just have a little bit of a look at these um, levels and how they work. There's actually two modes, which I didn't know, but uh, after experimenting with them, if you've got the black background, this is in uh, what we would say is probably like a, a raw mode, but if you tap and you get the red background, you can calibrate it to zero at any angle you want. So you need to be careful if you're using these two to measure level, not necessarily in an airplane uh, application, because as we just saw, they are useless, but in any situation, if you want to get the true level, you know, don't have it in the uh, the mode where you have the red background because I can I can angle that any way I want. I think you can see fairly clearly that both of those phones 
are in different orientations and yet just by tapping they're both showing zero. See that? Let's just try and highlight that even further. So again, a uh, spirit level, a phone level, completely pointless taking it on the aircraft because if the aircraft is being flown accurately they won't show anything anyway. And if you're going to use one of these phones for um, any other purpose, make sure it has the black background. Okay, That's going to give you more of a raw indication of what the true level is. This, uh, if you have the red background, it can be uh, calibrated to zero in any orientation. See that? So just following on from that, I'll just have a look at uh, an app here, which is Android only, unfortunately, but it's uh, it's probably the best artificial horizon app that I've used, and I've tested most of them. Um, the ones for iOS, they, uh, they're pretty average, to be honest. They don't really work reliably, and uh, the problem there is that they're using um, accelerometers only, and that's not going to be accurate for the same reason that the spirit level is not accurate when we're, uh, when we're flying the airplane in a coordinated state. But the, uh, the app that I like here is called Cockpit Aid. And uh, just in the testing I've done on, on air aircraft and in um, the cabin of uh, commercial aircraft, it seems pretty good. It's called Cockpit Aid, only works on Android. And uh, basically that's going to show you bank and pitch. Now it's set up so that the phones and the tab are horizontal, but you can uh, unlock the orientation, set it up vertically and then relock the orientation to that mode. So uh, yeah, just set it up, but I have it this way so I can set the, um, the devices on the uh, tray table in the aircraft and they work well. So it's called uh, Cockpit Aid and it's an Android app, works very well.